Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's World. Hey, right now in Alabama, it's raining again. Yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hope everybody's staying safe and well away from the coronavirus. Today's story time is about is it more important to be friends or in a relationship? Now, this topic comes to to mind because I've dated a woman or two or three or several that uh things could have been great in a relationship. But in long run hindsight, I'm glad we're friends. Um the one that comes to my mind the most well there's a couple, so I'm not gonna name any names. Um I have I have maybe seven guy friends or brothers or relatives that, I, that are close enough to be relatives or, you know, family of some sort that are 15 plus or 20 plus friends, people that I've known 20 plus years. I have two, three. I have three women that I've known 20 some plus years. The first, um, I liked her back in the day, but I was young and uh, my partner was talking to her, but I met her first. I met her first, I knew her first, I never said anything. He said something they dated shortly. Um, me and her stayed in touch throughout the years. And you know, I used to write her when I first moved to Alabama, I used to write her all the time. And like my life took, I, I don't mean to say this all the time, my life took terrible spins. And in taking these terrible spins, <laughs> some of these people saw a size of me that I wish they never did. Um, so that my oldest living friend is a woman, and she she saw the, the bad times. She well, she didn't see them. She heard about them because I would write her, I call her, and we would talk about these things. So she's been through my life my whole journey or most of my journey um i feel i don't know if it was lust or love but i love her as a person i love her as my friend but i wanted her more at, at different points in my life and i felt like she was the one and i think she might entertain the idea herself a few times but always came out with a no nah, we're not no nah, I, I like you better as a friend um the second lady, me and her have been friends for about 20 years now. Second and third. <laughs> Sorry. It's raining. The rain does that to me. Um, the second and third women I've known for about 20 years. Um, great women. Uh, I think they're both married now. One might be going through a divorce, but they're both married. Um... Things could have turned out so much different, but I look back at it and I'm glad they're my friends. So I guess the question is, have you ever met anybody, man or woman, that you, you thought you wanted, you, you, you wanted, or hey, even friends or women that, friends, men or women that you have tried to date, but realize y'all were just better friends. Um, it's a two-part kind of question because like I said uh, everything in my current relationship is great um, with these two or three women um, we never we did we dated we did date we dated but like I said looking back in hindsight I'm glad we're friends um, I guess I'll let y'all in on a little personal thing with me and my girl um, I have random female associates because like I said the friends are the ones that's been around 20 plus years or longer so I have random female associates not that I'm trying to date or what not but my girl most of her exes or a few of them or a lot of them however you want to put it 
a, a good number of them are guys that she dated that didn't work out and they're friends now. Um, for the most part, it doesn't bother me. But have you ever met someone that you wanted to date, did date, and realized y'all were better off friends? And it's really not worth messing up that bond. Um, or, hey, you know, let's, let's try it because we're friends and let's just remain friends because we, we don't want to mess up what we had. I guess it goes both ways. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not the best of friends with people that I date. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm the best of friends with a few women that I've dated. Um, me and my son's mom, we have a great friendship. Great. Me and my first wife have a great friendship. Me and my could have been girlfriend, wife, have a great relationship. My friend that I've known the longest, we have a great relationship. As I pick up the phone if she's not busy and call her and talk to her anytime by anything and I don't have to worry about being judged. Um, I think that's my biggest thing. I don't I don't like to be judged. And I, I, I'm terrible at judging other people because I don't judge people. I take people as they are, how they come, no matter what. I, I guess that's a good and bad trait. Uh, podcast will be on Sunday. Between now and Sunday, if y'all think about that question, have you dated or just met somebody that was better off being your friend? A legit friend. Not a friend that you creep with or a friend with benefits. Just a friend. Like you can sit down and talk to them and they give you a, a good ear and some great advice. Friend. Uh, with that being said, like, comment, share, press the notification bell so you know when we're doing podcasts. Uh, Sundays we go on at 7, so set your clocks a little earlier. Uh, 7 o'clock, YouTube, me and Ace, the podcast. Um, any comments that you want to leave in, about this video, please do. I, I'll, I'm, I'm getting better at checking the videos. I, I'm still behind on a whole bunch of videos that I never checked. But uh, um, I have a better way of checking it now. So please, by all means, check out the videos. Um, and we love y'all. We love all the support y'all y'all give us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But with that being said, it's hot and rainy in my car. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm your host, Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's World. Stay tuned. Peace.